Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to August World Records for 2024 in Zenotic. It's been a good month. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go straight into the records. Uh, so we have got, at the top, 29 World Records, Amino. Then Goblin, very close on 28. Vert in third on 25. Then Source for Everlast, Riffo, Rogue, Woe, Op3, Azju, 5e, Nature, Shirasaki, Straight, Banano, Plaza, Silni, Little Mole is Zad, 2, JH, Kabla, Rainbow Shadow, Malice, Moon, Serpent, Uchi, WHT, and I forgot who that one is. But there we go. Very record holders. Over on the stats page, we have 231 total records, 177 videos to get through, there are over 166 maps, and 28 unique players this month. We have then got in the player rating for hardcore parkour, Riffo stays at the top, Vert stays in second, Shiro bumps Jaska out of the top three to get into third. Dizzy staying safe, Amino. Um, most things other than Op 3 moving up six places and Cool getting into the top uh, 20 there with four places gained going from 21st to 17th. Pretty good for him. And over on Relax Running. No change in the top five, but Vert gains three places while Mui loses two, as does Nero. Uh, lose, Nero loses one. Woe staying in the same place. Four places gained there for Astu. He's won an absolute tear recently, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gains another four coming out this week. So many world records uh, from August. No, this is the July records, not the August records. This is July, not August. Ignore my uh, terrible inability. Pro streamer. Uh, yeah. No one new in the top 20 this month, though. So this is not July. This is... The current month is August. This is July records. July. I'm not redoing it. Sod it. So, yeah. Here's a really cracked record. There's only one that I've got on the list for this week... Uh, for this month. And that's Rust7, because... I mean, yeah. It was a great month, though. Really great month with uh, so many good records set. Just nothing, nothing that I've noticed that stood out. I have actually been playing last month a bit, mostly towards the start of the month. I'm tailing off towards the end, but hey, it was uh, it was Tour de France month, so and then the Olympics happened. So we're just waiting for Zenotic to get accepted into the esports Olympics when they happen, and then we'll be golden. You know, I'll be right there as your commentator. Get up on the BBC if I can't get a better contract deal. I hate that last map. So busted. Goblins were absolutely tearing maps up, especially on Slick recently. Just coming in with actually can play Slick knowledge and breaking all these records. It's insane. There are some records. Uh, that we're going to see in this that are a bit weird on the timing. Morrow uh, was moving house across multiple countries over the last month, so bear with if any videos are from different months, but we should be back to roughly normal by now. But yeah, that's where we're at. Solid apples there. A field of cubes. Oh, this map just 
like it's nuts just pre so precise that last jump This maps. That? Really? Would never have put that as the route. I think this one's uh, got a bit that doesn't make sense to me either. Towards the end, I seem to remember they're just being like a. Wait, what? That's bloody difficult. That last trick that you did. Oh no, no, it's pretty, pretty normal. I thought there was one on there. Maybe, maybe the route's changed. I thought there was one on there that it's like, sure you just, but hey, who am I to say I suck? God, was, sources turns are, so Dubai is source. Um, sources turns are so, circle jumps are so weird because he starts in the wall and doesn't like back away from the wall. He can just do it so fast inside of the wall. Oh, it's the trauma map. I was playing this map when I got banned off of Twitch. Just have trauma of that now. It's a really good map. You can see that how much lag nature plays with there as well. Um, the fact that you got to plus point two before the server said, "Oh no, actually, you've broken world record, mate." Good job. So smooth through there. Insane. I might have been online for this one actually. This record. But just so, such a smooth run. Busted pre run where you hope you get the spacing for the first bit. Oh, this map's nutty. This is... Look at that, that's just... It's just unfair. Really, really just unfair. Um, I mean... You can't... You can't even go to the world record to look at the route for this map because none of this... If you can't figure out the route properly, none of this is, is useful. <laughs> All of those tricks are just so insane. They really are. Absolutely bonkers. This is the first record of the month set quite late actually. Didn't have uh, many on the... F it's in the wrong order. Pornstar CPM Run 2 is apparently the first record of the month uh, by re recalculated number. There we go, that's the third record of the month. Zeal Niha, the first one, uh, the second one. First one set half an hour into the day. Okay, yeah, they were in a weird order. Don't know what happened there. 
there was some there was some from the first day at the top that they weren't quite in actual order of setting but it's sorted now here we go then interference a long record rockets and everything Op3, one of the rare people to strafe... Oh, no. So you try to get all the way up. I think you can. But it's uh, a bit more of a hope than science. Um, Op3, one of the rare people to generally strafe looking upwards. Like most people... And we don't have it on this, um, this HUD. But most people look down when they strafe at their feet. Up three tends to look upwards. It's more rare to do. And then there's a couple of people who do it diagonally. Like they'll go top to bottom. That tight that lined up with the the music pretty well there actually. That was pretty good line up with the music there. Oh an absolute stunning move there. I should get the Oh Pro Streamer forgets to put everything on. There we go. an insane map. I'm sure I've seen it before, but I don't remember it. And that was like a really clean run for for that sort of map. I'm sure it'll get pushed more in the future, but Just so clean. A veritable vert record on a pillars type map. <sighs> Insane. Insane. Nothing that can be done about that. That's just insane. I feel like this map's new. This is the full tournament. So used to just seeing the short ones, and generally the short of the start. I'm not sure if it's all actually split into shorts, because some of these would be terrible. <laughs>
think potentially two is the uh, long. Check my other spreadsheet. No, no, two is not the, uh, the name at the bottom. So I am considering buy it to try and get higher quality. I need to figure out if I can get another hard drive in my computer. If I can get another hard drive in my computer, I could totally put the download every record. Just have to run YouTube DL for like two hours. <laughs> rip them all at a decent quality. What are they max quality at? Uh, yes, okay, so probably at least 720-60. Well, I'll probably rip them at 1080-60, actually. Because I'll record at 720, so there's no point ripping them at 1440. Unless I just rip them at 1440, sod it. I've got a hard... I need to figure out if I can get another hard drive into the computer. Because I've got a hard drive, I think, in a box. I've got a... I've got an adapter somewhere sitting around. I need a power cord for it. Because I haven't got power. So it works on SSDs, but that's it. It works on SSDs, it doesn't work. For, uh, what's it? So if I can find a power cord for it, it doesn't work for hard drives without power. SSDs will run without power, just off of the SATA power, USB SATA power. But yeah, I could do that. I won't be able, I need to put another drive in because I don't think I've got enough space on one drive and the other one, I definitely don't have enough space on the SSD, don't have enough space on my storage one and storage, I, which is what I record to, I could have enough space for deleted a load of recordings and probably deleted a bunch of other shite, actually I might have enough space, I'm going to check, this is a thing for next month. How much space do I have? I have 208 gig on that. What do I have on this? I have 140 gig. That's probably enough. And like, what's the... What's taking up all the space then? Game demos. Xenotic. Ah, yes, all my demos from Xenotic. Yeah, my Zon demos. The music, the my 3DS backup. I need that. Need the phone. Need that. Need that. Might be able to rip that. Not actually a lot left on there to be fair after that. So I might be able to do it to this 135 gig. Hmm. 
I shall try. I shall try downloading them all after this stream. Ah, Ash Fancy Pants. We were on this map earlier. Um, this is the thumbnail for this month. Here's the world record for the thumbnail video. I should do that. If I'm using a thumbnail, I should check it hasn't got a world record on it. I should also take the thumbnails when people are actually online. Because today I was like, oh, loads of people are online. Went and had dinner. Came back. Everyone's gone. Probably also to get dinner. <laughs> we do exactly the same thing that I did. So, yeah. Deja vu, I know. That one didn't have a penis on it, though. That one's deja vu as well, because it's the same map as we've just seen, except slightly slower, because it doesn't have slick. But it doesn't matter for this bit anyway, because you just do it. Yeah, I've just been thinking if I can download all of these videos instead of having to... What's it, them? So I'm going to try downloading them, but I might need to find another hard drive. Or shift some shit around and get the other stuff onto my other hard drive or something. Depends how big a, a month of videos is. When ripped from YouTube. Ah, but... I'd have to find another music player. That would be the other problem. Because currently I use VLC and I don't think you can have two VLC instances open. So I'd have to open the music in something else. Because I definitely need a playlist. Otherwise I'd just run the videos in Firefox to be fair, but I'd need a playlist. Yeah, it's exactly the same route. <laughs> same route, different guy. Slightly less slippery floor. It's been some good records so far. It's been good, it's been good. That's mad. Pre-fire. I don't understand pre-fires. I can do a couple of them on very very few maps but nice very very nice You got a lot of records this month, didn't you, Banana? You've got a fair few records. What you got? Where are we? Ah, two. Two records. Never mind. I thought you had more than that because you're a, you're in the top half of the list. But it's just there's a lot of people with one, and a good chunk with two that you're included in, and being B puts you at the top of the people with two. Banana... Oh, that's not worked. There. What have we got? Ah, more towards the end of the month. BD3 Slick and Bozo Wep Reverse.
it's such a sick map. Nice groovy. The, the hidden god at this game, honestly. Like, he fucks around, you don't think that he's that good, but then you see him just take record after record when he actually tries. You've had, like, a lot of world records. You've had a good chunk of world records. Is this gob ta Is this a bugged one, or is this gob taking the record? There have been bugged uploads of XDWC ones. And because the XDWC have to have videos as well. No fucking way! No fucking way! Holy shit! That's new. That's new because only one person went for uh, went for slick in the top twenty for that one. So that's new, guaranteed new. <laughs> Me finally actually being a useful streamer uh, and knowing the facts about the game that I watch for three hours a month and play for many hours. Yeah, so that's got to be a new one because it's... Yeah, i got 1,753 hours in Xenotic currently. Just on this computer. This map is going to be made to look very easy, but every single one of these little bits is so difficult to get right without losing huge chunks of speed. And getting round that corner quite that smooth is absolute madness. I had a good time on this map actually as well. Uh, paranoid android. I love Vert just continuing sometimes after his finish runs. Just nipping around the back and continuing after. Oh, this map's brutal. Just on this, as you come into one of these, that corner, there's a, there's a lip on the edge where the corner meets the flat wall. It doesn't quite line up. And it gets me every time I play that map. Just constantly hitting it. It feels so mad, so bad when you watch the world records that do something perfectly like that, but then if you just saw my record, it'd look like I got through it all and didn't get tagged on any of the broken bits. Because you miss the, the hundreds of hours. I'm hopefully going to be streaming more. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube, twitch.tv forward slash mxcraven, I think there's a link in the description. Uh... Yeah, if you want to see the pain that we all go through, the resets, the resets, the resets that make these world records, um, you'll just be seeing the resets and none of the world records. 
So check it out. And we're streaming the. Uh, Oh, there's been a huge fight on R7 Rust one, uh, Rust Seven once. Huge fight on that map, going back and forth to the one that we saw in the end with Rogue Mac Mac. And with the 236, but it was all done. JH then Source then Mac then Source then Mac then Source then Mac. Yeah. I think that's where it ends with the Rust Seven. Yeah, that's where it ends. It went back and forth over one day. Mad that it was going back and forth though. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. When did that happen? It's not on this list. Twenty-six. Oh, there it is. Goes back to Source. Source then uh, Mac. Just for shits and giggles, you know. Then he takes this, what does he take this? 11 hours later, he takes this record. Having taken only an hour and 15 minutes to knock Source off, which probably means an hour and a half on the server for RTG and that they restarted the server. Those two I do feel like they restart the server rather than extending. Which I think might be because neither of them expect to have to extend because they mostly play non-zon games. Oh, his source has been around for here for long enough, he should know. Matt dropped back in for those records. But, um... Yeah, they play games where you just the servers don't end, ever. B-Hop and uh, Quake 3. Beginner serves in B-Hop do I think, but the the sort you're going to actually hunt a world record on don't. Mad one from nature. The guys from Down Under are insane. Insane. And then you got the OP3 level of insane. You've pretty much got to remember the route for this because there's so many sections where you can't see where you're supposed to go. That you just have to kind of remember. Uh, it's mad. Yeah. And it's... Oh! Oh jeez, it's 13 and it's 13 minutes. Oh god. Damn, we're going double speed. Oh, the skybox is actually spinning. That's sick. I didn't know you could do animated skyboxes. Oh no, I did. What the? Has the center of the blocks just been removed? So you have to do it on the edge. A thirteen and a half. All oh, right. Okay. Just an invisible block. I saw him going more to the edge of the edge of the squares than running straight across the centre. But could have just been whatever. This is one of those... Oh yeah, he's going straight across these ones in the middle. Now it's diagonal. Um, this is one of those ones where it shows off quite how insane the size of these maps is. Considering that... So this, this hasn't had the map limit raised. Zon hasn't got a raised map limit compared to anything. I'm pretty sure it's got the same map size limits as Quake 3. Uh, since he uses that packaging format, not Quake 1. But... Why did they make map sizes possible to be so big 
for a game that was supposed to only have a maximum of, I think, 8v8 uh, in 16 players on a server in the original Quake 3. And so high. <laughs> I know Counter-Strike's maps are absolutely insane, but they're just Source Engine based and the Source Engine is, you know, starts off for Half-Life. Oh no! They were not even halfway, not even halfway. God damn, this guy's insane! Guy is insane. Some of these spacings seem to be changing ever so slightly on some, like some jumps are just long, slightly longer than others. I don't know how well some of this is coming across on stream because of how fast it's going, but... Oh, this isn't even his first run. So many of these world records on these, like, 13-minute torture maps. There you, f you see that it's the first run. And that checkpoint, for anyone who, for some reason, is, is new to this and has got uh, 40 minutes into a video about this game, checkpoints don't mean you respawn there. There will be no actual respawning checkpoints if he falls off the entire way. You don't take full damage in this game. So, it'll just be all the way. It's just how far you fall before you can manage to get yourself to one of the platforms. Absolutely mad. And we are still on double speed. Because it's as insane as this is, no one really needs to watch this all the way through. If you want to, the link to the uh, play full playlist is in the description. Look for J4NR72 or just go to Morris Officer's channel. Look for J4NR72 with the uh, time that's just below that green bar at the bottom, 1347.40 is in the title of the video um, yeah look for those by EOF OP3 absolute madness I wish I was the kind of person who could do these maps. I've tried. I can't. Like, they look so simple. I, I beg you to try it if you haven't already. Just hop on, vote this map on HP. Give it a go if you don't believe how difficult this is or think it looks easy. For any of these. Any of these maps, honestly. Because, th like, this looks difficult. But... There's so many of these maps where they just make it look easy because that's how world records are. It looks easy, but you don't see... Oh. And with the time left on this, that's got to have been so close to the finish. Having only a minute and a half left at that fall and probably falling at least a minute. But yeah, give it a go because it's a fun game. It's a very fun game. You can tell it's fun because we've got 28 people in the month that set world records. Plenty more played it. Plenty more played. There's at least 29 people that played. Because I did and I didn't get any world records. 
Take a Super Crouton. It's all the Croutons in one go, I assume. This is the second of two two world records. Absolutely perfect, living up to his name. It's either going to be all of the croutons, uh, which is, I think it's going to be all the croutons and backwards. I don't think it's going to be like all the crouton with numbers. I think it's going to be just crouton one. But now we're either going to do crouton one backwards. Or we're coming back to the start. Yeah, we're back to the start of Crouton 1. Oh no, we're into Crouton 2. Okay. I thought it was going to be because Crouton's got Crouton, Crouton Slick and Crouton Rockets. And then backwards. Uh, not Urk. I've got all of these songs that are in this playlist on my phone. Um, in my regular run, you know, playlist with copyrighted music as well, because <coughs> let me, I do actually like this music. <laughs> it's chill, and it's actually quite cool when these sort of songs come on. And I'm like, it's funny when I'm singing the words to them, and people are like, what the fuck? How do you know all the words to this? Probably listen to it a ton while streaming. And that is the finish of Crutar. Yeah, that was the finish. Yeah. This is three, I believe. It's interesting because it's different. Because of the speed you start with, some of these sections are different. Whereas this one very quickly got even with speed. Because there was a couple of slow down bits that wouldn't slow you down quite as much if you were not going as fast. So I evened it out. Coming into the finish, I believe. Oh no, there's still a chunk way to go on this one. Oh no, this is the start of a new one. Yeah, as we changed to the sand was the start of a new crouton. The finish of an old. Mad how well they link together, actually, though. <laughs> like, some of them, it's obvious because you're going through a door. If you know what the door looks like, though, because there's other places where you just go through a door. Like here, that could be the restart of what end of one and start of another, but it's not. Uh, but some of them just look perfect. I suppose if you just open the start, finish, and don't worry about it. If you just have it open as... Because most of these have very tight starts. Stop you from doing too much crazy stuff. Coming into a finish around this next corner. So normally this would be a finish. Oh, we saw a flicker. There's a teleporter there. Must have run out of space on the video. On the map. Do that. 
Hands blurry, pushing back the tears. Should take a leap of faith and face my fears. I blame it on the voices that are in my head. Super smooth movement from two, though. Oh, that was nice. Oh, okay, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Beautiful tattoo. Right on at the bottom, but not quite getting up there was the problem. Oh my god. But you're nuts. Three, mi three minutes of this shape. And you can barely even see what you're supposed to be landing on. Like you can't, you can't see uh, on some of it because the texture. You can't see whether it's a flat wall or stairs or quite where the starts of some of these rods are. Like that. Could be slope. Could be stairs. You don't know till you hit it. I can't even see where he's going to on some of these because the amount of other dots that are around. And this has come out as good quality upload. Like, I know that this looks the same. Can we do those? Uh, in CPM, you can double jump and use a double. You can double jump by jumping very close to another jump. Um. And you can do it underneath things to get a higher jump. Uh, yeah, like this. This looks exactly as it would in game. If you had this hood, oh my god! If you had this hood and everything, this looks exactly how it does in game. At least to me, it's probably getting crushed to shit by the time it gets out to the second YouTube video. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, if I do the downloading of the videos, I'm going to have to figure out another way to remember what the last video I watched each month was. Because normally I just go to whichever one the last one I've got watched on my watch list is. <laughs> oh no. At least there's checkpoints at each. Each interval from the red to the green to the yellow. Not in that order. At this rate though, he's going to absolutely breeze through. Have we already done blue actually? Thinking about it. We might have already done blue. My butthole is puckered. Oh no, we haven't done blue. He's going to breeze through blue then. Blue is slick. So if you... You can't stop on it. That's insane. That's insane, but... Dude, that's absolutely mad. No wonder it's called torture. Zad bias... The Little Mole. A man of many names. And a man of hard strafes. So I finally learned the route you're supposed to take on this map. Uh, based on the fact that you're not supposed to be able to go through the greenery. That might do it on this. But I was kind of popping out and going through there and it, yeah, it was slower. <laughs> but it, f it made some sense, kind of. But apparently the greenery just doesn't have hitboxes with us. 
Beatrix Corks had a few back and forths, mostly Shiro taking it back off himself within the 24 hour period. I'm trying to keep notes on those and mention the ones. So Shiro, 28.54 on a Beatrix Cork. That's in between moves records, but it's going to get overwritten later. Nicely done, Sarpent. That run's been cleaned up so well. It was really janky at the start to the point where people weren't even using their rockets every landing. They were like landing then running and then stopping then using rockets. So that's been really cleaned up. That Mr. Headshot fourth run to get to where it is now. Which is always great to see. Yeah, Amino's been absolutely smashing it this month. Absolutely smashed it. Some really hard records. And some back and forths. Like, it's not just been taking records on mad maps that are really difficult to just complete. There's been some back and forths. They've been really cool to see. Uh, not a three, so we're missing that Biotrix Cork. I'm going to say that a few of those have, are going to come up later. And that they're in a different order. So I won't mention the ones that have been missed because I think they're going to come out. Video upload uh, doesn't always exact. It should pretty much line up with my... Rec um with the order that they were set but it doesn't always perfectly line up just the way that YouTube gets things uploaded sometimes I don't know uh, so we've missed Ash Groovy 2 there with uh, 1707 from Rogue and we're now on Killua Inshi Just jump three. No, I think that's going to be August. We had your just jump three last month. Uh, but I think that's going to be August because he hasn't got it. Well, I haven't got it listed as just jump three. I've got a couple of partial records. Uh, but no. No full map record. The question is, are you going to go back for the Just Jump 3 record, or are you giving up the fight? What was that? Electron. Okay, so we've missed VP Festive Double by Kabla1376, and Engine by Source1481. Okay, we might not have, because that was Effect Mucky, which we'd already technically missed, and okay, some of them are out of order. Hell no, not taking it back. Well, we'll see the conclusion to that fight next week, or next month, about two or three weeks. Will we take me to make that one? And hey, we might have super crisp quality if I can get everything set up for downloading. Can't believe I haven't thought of just 
YouTube downloading them before, to be honest. Or if I have, I can't really, I can't think of what the reason was right now for not doing it, other than space being insane. But I can always just put another drive, I can probably get a drive for cheap enough that it's worth it. That was VP Festive Double that I said was missing, uh, so that one's in. And here's the Bioshrix Cork that... This is an insane map. I can't begin to describe what's going on here, just... Pure beauty and rocketeering from Shiro. And sh one of the reasons Shiro's so, so good on rocket records is that he's also an insane strafer. Um, and being an insane strafer means when, uh, when you're doing rocket records, means you can squeeze everything out of a map. So Riffo is a good strafer and a very good idea and like that sort of thing, but hard strafe, he's not squeezing everything. Sometimes he'll just be Wing or what or nothing in the air. Whereas Shiro will almost always be maxing it with some strafes as if it was a strafe map at any point that you can't use the rocket launcher. Live world record, Goon Cave Splunking has taken Cab Corp Brolex. In 42 tries. <laughs> Oh, this map's great. Very new map by a new mapper, JH. What? <laughs> so, you can choose whether you want slick or haste or rockets. Is the fastest route really... JH tried so hard to balance them ish. Is the fastest route really to take nothing? I thought it would be to take haste. Slick is pretty much pointless because you come out with some extra speed, but you can't really carry it around the next corner. Um, and it's only like an AD slick. You don't get a large amount of slick. But rockets is pretty good. But I thought it would be haste because you just strafe hard. 
Because there's not many walls, that's the problem with rockets. There's not much to wall rocket off of. So you've got a floor rocket, which is hard. Nature gets so wrecked by uh, lag with those sort of teleports. Just looking in completely the wrong direction for a bit. Virtue said we'll have to do a clean run. Apparently that torture run, the one with the different coloured glass, that was a sloppy run and he's already beaten it. So, you know. Absolute mad lad. J4N torture. Oh no, Riffo found a way to, not even finish, but Riffo found a way to pre-run, damn, that map got uh, shortened quick. This is just so insane. I don't understand that map at all. I can't seem to get it anything somewhat consistent or close to somewhat consistent on that map. This map's a nice map, I like this map. Shiro, uh, yeah. You recall back to when Ooh, Amino had this record early? Uh, oh, oh, tricks escape. Riffo. So, uh, Shiro's knocked about 2.3 off of uh, Riffo's record. And yeah, I reckon it all in the strafing. Damn, Riffo going for a weird eccentric map. Like 
Testo one with the portal guns. It's a super clever map. Yeah. Yeah, huge improvement. I'd kind of like to see an improvement mark on some of these records. But at the same time, it wouldn't really work because not all of them get videos. So having minus and where would it draw from? Because sometimes the record is technically set right before, you know, like you take three seconds off a record. It wouldn't say three, it'd say you took point one, then point one, then point. Yeah, an improvement mark over the last video would be nice, but... put my glasses on to help me be able to read the uh, read the numbers on the screen imagine that and just for shits and giggles and for people who've seen it I'm gonna put my hat on genuinely put my hat is on over the top of my headphones for the people who've seen my candy king hat For those who haven't, it's a bright purple Jamiroquai hat, made out of the shittest materials. Yeah, it's quite some looks as you're walking around uh, town with a fireplace on your shoulder. And... A, uh, a stupid hat and riding and a skateboard in your backpack. Got some decent looks as I was bobbing around just with the hat and the skateboard. To be fair, that's mad. Having a waypoint is like such a great strategy, though. Having a waypoint for where to aim the uh, where to aim the pre-fire. Such a good strat. That map's nuts. I don't see how it keeps getting improved. Because it's like... How? <laughs> what else is there to do? You're already shooting at every possible opportunity. This map's so good. I love the textures on these maps. I said this the other day in uh, Momentum Mod Discord. I don't know what it is. But the textures on these shark maps that are basically just the default reflex textures. Yeah, they're just the reflex textures. Somehow, uh, somehow reflex got made into those textures. It wasn't meant to be, but so many mappers just used them, and it fits the style of reflex so well. That they are all just default texture maps. And that's the same for uh, for Pew Pew as it is for Defrag in that game. The FWC 2020, 2017-6 by Goblin. Goblin's going too fast for me. Me seventeen round six.
Okay, I don't think Goblin even played that when it came out. I was going to try and find when um, where Goblin came in that original 2017-6. Uh, the D Frog World Cup 2017 was insane. Looking back, it's it's got so many good maps. Like, all the Defrag World Cup maps are really, really well done. XGWC maps are also really, really well done. But the, because DFWC... And that's that's the first one where it went to a two-year cycle as well. Or, like, first or second where it was a two-year cycle. So I think people had something to prove about it being a two-year cycle that it took so long. Because they pre-planned on that bit, on it being every two years. And then it didn't happen last year. <laughs> but hey, out of that we got shitloads of people playing Zon, so that's good. No word about whether it's going to happen again this year, though. The Quake 3 Defrag World Cup. So, shame if it doesn't. Shame if it doesn't. Oh yeah, Fivey. How big do you reckon 177 uh, 1440p 60fps videos is going to be? Which is all of the videos in this playlist of uh, Zon Records for the month. How big do you reckon? And how much am I going to save if I do it to 1080p? Because doing it to 1080p, I'm planning on downloading them because, like, look, they go into shit quality and then I'm crunching them again. And it's getting to the point where you can't even read the ups meter sometimes. And that's on my end. <laughs> Before you crunch it down through my recording software and then through my upload. But I'm thinking about downloading them. And I'm trying to work out, will I have enough space? Or potentially do I like buy... Because I think I've got more slots for hard drives in my computer, but I need a new cable, I think. I can need more cables. But I'm not sure... I actually think I might... Oh shit, I might not. I think I've got more SATAs, but I don't think I've got any SATA power cables I can draw around. Unless there's some tied up in a bundle and hidden. And I need to, like, untie them. But, yeah, I could buy a hard drive, but I was planning on downloading them. But it's, I know that downloading stuff and downloading YouTube and doing anything with it. Oh, only 14 gig. Oh, fuck it then. Easy. Because the problem is I don't. Like, I was like, oh, I don't have enough space for... So, the record... Yeah, actually, that makes sense. Because the recording on this is 2 to 3 gig. For my end. And that's for potato ass quality. It's set to high quality on OBS, but it's not great quality. I mean, even... So, all of that stuff with the... Yeah, YouTube bit crunches stuff, so, yeah. Because even that... So, the the Hagar... Uh, no, the, the BFG tutorial on the tutorial video, for anyone who's seen it and knows how bit crunched to shit that got, that's bit crunched on my end and I used Indistinguishable uh, while recording that video. And that's bit crunched before it went into my editing. My editing, I did lossless. Uh, 
when I was pumping that out, or near lossless, I think, actually. Because I'm pretty sure 9 out of 10, I, I couldn't tell a difference. Uh, but the file size was massively different. Um, that's out of Kden Live. And then, yeah, YouTube crunched it even more, but it was fucked, even on my end. When it was indistinguishable, insane file size, I think it calls. Yeah, I'm going to try downloading all of this month, and then next month I'll try downloading them and playing them. I'm just going to have to work out what I can use as an audio player, though. Because I'm going to have to use VLC to play the videos, so I've got to find something to play the audio at the same time. Or find out how you open two VLC instances. Whenever, if I, it, it, can I open two VLC instances? Because if I just type VLC into my start menu and press the button, it just pulls VLC open. It doesn't open a second VLC instance, I don't think. Let's try it. Live testing. Because talking about Riffo doing a meh run. VLC. Yeah, it just hasn't opened anything. It hasn't even brought that to the forefront. Can I do it from console? V oh, no, VC is not a command. Ah! So, I can open it if I open it with the terminal. If I run one of them in the terminal. Oof! So yeah, I've just got to run one of them in the terminal, and one of them... Oh, I love this map. This is one of the first maps after the reset, I remember it. After all the chaos went on. Such a good map. Um, yeah, so I can do that. I can open one of them in the terminal. Or find some other way of making flags happen. Or something. I need to check on some errors that I've got. Because I've just got some errors about the plugins I use. And I'm not sure if they're errors about like a dead plugin that no longer works. Or if they're errors because it, it was like can't access some things. And I'd need to see if that's errors because... I've already got it open and it won't let it access the same file because there's some files opened as write. Because for that strip at the top to work. <coughs> Sorry for the sneeze. I'm currently sat way back in my chair and can't reach my keyboard. I need a push mute button somewhere. I need to figure that out. Like uh, professionals, they have a button that you press and hold it. So the problem with the foot pedal is that I'm... I am in what I can only describe as the missionary position. With my feet up on my desk and I'm just chillaxing, leaning back in my chair. Because that's how I hang out and watch YouTube videos quite a lot. Like, this is how I just watch skate videos. If I'm just watching skate videos, I'll do this. So, this is the same way. <laughs> Might as well just continue the same way when I'm watching this. And it's even easier with this. Because skate videos, quite a lot of the ones I'm watching, are only little edits. Like, two minute videos. Because uh, skate companies have this allergy to releasing full skate videos on YouTube. Um, but they'll they'll release the two minute edits of everybody. They'll release everyone's part separately. I'm currently in the middle of watching uh, Quick Quick Strike, Nike SB Quick Strike. It's quite good so far. It's chill. Which usually just means I like the music, because. There's so many skate videos that I can't watch because of the music. Oh. 
that's so annoying when op 3 is just like just not quite strafing it's like oh you're just getting zero boost just press w this is insane so many rocket stacks Yeah, I don't care about ergonomics. I just like sitting because it's cool and comfortable at the minute. If it stops being comfortable, I'll stop sitting like this. It's like, oh, sit sit in that proper ergonomic position and it, it'll be better for you and your spine. And it's like, yeah, but why is it uncomfortable? <laughs> it just straight up doesn't feel good. If I follow that to how... It is when I'm riding a bike. If I feel pain in my shoulders, then my bike's probably too short and I need to somehow make it longer by either pushing like the seat back or pushing the handlebars forwards. If I feel like I'm too stretched out, then I need to bring it back or bring it up. Why would I not, you know, forgo the same for my actual ergonomics? Having my legs straight was hurting, because I've been doing this stream for over an hour now. Hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> I've been going for. How far are we through? Oh, we're like way over halfway. Sick. I need to get back to the records. Whoa, I am. Egypt is in one. Yeah, I didn't have the... Didn't have the spreadsheet up. God, like... Oh. I do need to do Climb World eventually, but watching these sections and the full run the other week was just... Nah. <laughs> um, I got to one of the brown ones. I can't think of what it was. I d yeah, I don't know if I want to do section practice or if I just want to like chunk and play it and just say stream ends when I finish climb world sort of thing and just hit the shit out of it if that would be better for me stream ends when I finish climb world leaving webcam on while sleeping because that would be the only problem. Although I would have to get some tape and cover up the fucking blue LEDs because I do not think I'd be able to sleep if there were blue LEDs pointing right at my bed. Yeah, I know there's a time limit on it. Well, yeah, but if I fucked it up, if we got to the to the time limit and couldn't extend, I don't because it starts at two fifty now, doesn't it, or two forty? So if you can only extend past, if you can only extend to two fifty six, then it's only an extra sixteen minutes.
Oh, right. Does it actually, do you use countdown timer? Does it actually say the correct time with the extend or has it just passed and then ignored the number or pushed it back up to zero? Pushed it back up to 256? Because potentially 256 minutes. No, that doesn't make any sense. It being a, a Zon, Zon time limit maximum 256 is not, it, it is a real number but it, it is a like, computer number but it's not a computer number because if you times it by 60 like Zon's counting in seconds not minutes oh yeah count up better for shooting but count down Malice fucking loves this map I tell you Malice loves an Osas challenge. This map is a pain in the ass and very hard. These jumps up are not easy. They are not jumps. I think those ones are, but some of them aren't jumps you can just normally make. You have to use the extra ramp that you get off the side of the block. Yeah, it's not a particularly fun map. It probably would be HP. Just for being crap and bullshit. It is technically finishable by walking, but it's not fun if you're not going to do what Malice does. If you're not going to go the full way. But it's also not fun to fail it constantly. This one's new? Our seven pillar. Huh, nice. There's been a, like, rush on pillars recently. I think Vert started it with uh, CPM pillars. There's been some great runs on pillar maps. I love pillar maps because they're so... Uh, The first pillar maps I saw were in B-Hop, so it makes this weird connection in my brain to B-Hop. But then it's so different to how B-Hop players do pillars. Even when they're not going and having a spasm with the mouse. No, apparently no one retook it before, at least before 24 hours was up. Oh no, I think we've missed a banana record on Speedy 3 Slick. I hope we get it. There may be some missing records. Oh shit, LG map! LG map! Insane! So rare. So rare that hardly anyone actually knows what an LG does when you get it. LG is super cool. No one retook uh, Bowser Reverse or Moko Fins either. Or R7 Watermill, I think. What the hell happened on the 23rd? Why are there so many records on the 23rd? 
of last month. There it is. There's 22 records just on that one day alone. It's insane. Maybe fourth had 13. Uh, oh yeah, it probably is new maps because you've got three of them on the same day. Uh, and they're all short. There's a bunch of them that are a short distances apart. Yeah. That'll be why we didn't get the speedy three slick from Banana there. Yeah, they're all short distances apart, so they were probably being played on RR. Uh, that's a bullshit map, I think. <laughs> that just looks brutal. Wait, XTW... Oh, right, yeah. I was like, ACWC 2021 start? What? Oh, yeah, I forgot that actually has a finish condition on it. <laughs> it has a bunch of finish conditions. Oh, here's a nutty one. No way he used that. What the fuck? Uh, and then he gets the lock on this. Nutter. No way! Oh, it's not luck anymore. Oh, uh, that's why he was able to get both of the slicks then. Fixed. Sick. Super sick. Glad it's fixed. Glad that it is fixed. I can't see this record. Okay, I've lost this record on the on the list. Jaska was doing some merge requests for Defrag, and there was some discussion in the Dev Matrix. Uh, channel or well the official matrix channel that basically is a dev matrix channel because that's all anyone ever talks about like the discord gets shit talk about the game and playing the game the matrix is just talk about dev and breaking the game and balance changes uh, but there was some talk about bugs that only exist in defrag so potentially It came from there. There is also a dev matrix, yes. But no one uses it, I don't think. <laughs> I, d I've, I don't think anyone uses it because all of the devs are in the main one talking to other devs about devving things in the main one and discussing shit. Check how long I was left. Uh, we may have to cut this one. Because I don't think I'm going to stay awake for the next 50 videos. But hey, the second half could be super high quality. I'm just going to work out a few things. Oh no, I'm just not able to drop down the slide at the end. Okay, I'm going to cut this one here and then we'll go roll to uh, another recording session. Okay, hopefully not too much whiplash from that and we have something fancy right now on VLC. Ooh, the bar is hidden from stream, that's quite fancy. But yeah, we're now on... Uh, 
VLC for the stream, which is posh. And it means we should have high, high quality footage rather than uh, the hell. I don't think that was ever intended, going to be honest. Bozo reverse. Yeah, the video does play in a side view while you've got ads on Twitch. Oh, for God's sake, okay. We may have some bugs. So I have two VLC instances open, and I assume that each time it reloads a video it's going to change the settings. This is still... Okay, yeah, this is fine. I was like, it's changed, so it's changing the audio level every time. But I thought, hold on, is it changing my... Because I've got the music on loop and shuffle. Okay, we may have to sort something out for next time with the audio to not use VLC for the audio or to use something different for the video. Yeah, the there's a, a Twitch ad blocker that uses that picture in picture. It doesn't always work, I've had to turn it off. Twitch ads aren't too bad to be fair. Like they're one of the better ones because the because they happen once and then you set when they happen. I mean mine are terrible to be fair. I do need to do something about when I do adverts, but yeah. So good having such short loading times. I did a test yesterday. I played the first 10 videos of this. Press play on. Well, actually, press play on YouTube first. And then. Um, then press play on the VLC. First 10 videos all the way through. And VLC beat YouTube. There was no buffering, it was just the loading of the next video, because VLC goes boom, straight through. So that was sick. I've also upped the video quality, so hopefully from the cut we have better video quality. Stream won't see it, but... Uh, the video, the actual recording video quality. I've now found out why... So I want to stream with... I want to record with same quality as stream because that's better quality and smaller file size somehow. But um, I can't. <laughs> it also uses less CPU. But I can't because you can't pause if you do that. You can't pause the recording. Which is a really useful feature when you do something this long. This is such a tough map. So to get three down ramps there is already fairly tough. Like, you kind of have to be perfectly spaced. 
just missing that. I don't think he's going to be possible to hit that anymore. And then you've got to get perfect spacing to hit as little of that roof as possible. And he gets a down rub there. That's mad as well. Able to get effectively a down ramp off the side. Good pre run. This map's tough as well because that um, the height of those barriers you got to jump over they are pretty much max jump height. Vert is definitely aiming for a just jump record. Yeah, yeah, C it's the CPM Mac pack, C that one's CPM 4. I think that, um, that what's it was, uh, the, the finish line's like a blue bit, I think that's a velocity pad isn't it, in the other one, turn around. Yeah, I think it was added to RR because of, um, it, it was one of those like cuddles. It wasn't, people don't think of them as map packs, they just add them. Like I didn't even know map packs existed. Uh, like R7 Italy, I didn't know that how map packs worked until R7 Italy was uh, on. On the, on the walk up. I tried to wake up before doing this. It hasn't worked. Yeah, I think this is more more interesting on the weapons version especially now that we've actually got a clean run on the weapons version because for a while it was uh, it was quite a dirty run It's not just rockets. Uh, there are a couple of sections where the Hagar is more useful. Yeah, Riffo had it. Riffo in who's second? Whoever's second, there was a, a battle between them two months ago. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting back and forth. I keep forgetting to look into the back and forth ones. Okay, it's not who's in third. <laughs> Wasn't Rainbow who was fighting for it. Might have been Theorek. But yeah, Riffo was in a back and forth with someone about it. I tried looking into some of the back and forths this month to get them on the like playlist in the correct order but it's really difficult to see when there's been a back and forth sometimes 
Very nice. I can see that going sub minute. Well, not sub minute, sub three minute. Quite soon. I need to find out how you pronounce that. Yeah, world record history would be lovely. But even then, actually, that, that wouldn't help me much. It's more... I probably need to work out... Uh, I need to work out how to filter. So I, I've got a spreadsheet with all of the records on it. So I can tell you the next run is RMN1 uh, by source in a 2834. That was set on the 26th at uh, 15 minutes past midnight UTC time server time uh, so I've got all of the information but <sighs> apologies for the yawning um, but I need to work out how to filter it to put the most common at the top so I can say Right, what's the most common map name in this month? Yes, Semix Craven SQL. Which Des has now got hooked up to automatically upload the files uh, on the first of the month, because I used to have to go tomorrow and ask him. Uh, it was actually the reason that two months ago was quite late because when Morrow was moving and missing in action. Uh, and eventually I was like, shit, I'll just go ask Des. Des, do you have access to the server? Because Mirio had said no at one point. I was like, Des, you could, is th what access to the server do you have? And he was like, oh, I might have access to it, but he didn't have. But then I found the script. And then he realised that he did have access to it. So that was sick. And then to get it automatically uploaded onto a pastebin type thing. That's just mint. Okay, we'll go 1.5 times speed here. Yeah, it spits out. There is one error in it. The uh, first set by players, the list of players one, says that it's unbeaten, but it's not the unbeaten ones. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Banned from suggesting maps. At least he actually plays them, because... Uh, there was a couple that JH suggested that he never even finished. There, oh, look at that. Two minutes in, so we're expecting three, three, three to four of those down this entire section. Yeah. The these maps are just terrible. They really are. Unfortunately, Amino loves torture. Did this one at least get onto our uh, HP instead of RR? Because the Mokoala one was. Why the hell is that on? HP. Yeah, they can be fun if they're not buggy, but at the same time they are still torture maps. Now there's definitely one that's on RR. Because 
because I l basically never log on to HP. I should do. Maybe depending on how long this takes, I might stream uh, HP after. But yeah, unfortunately, because uh, Amino likes torture, these maps all get finished pretty quick. So we don't fall foul of Morrow's rule of if it's not finished within a week, we're deleting it. Hey, Benano. Uh, it, it's not particularly enforced. But Morrow was saying that it would be done. Probably because Torv knows in a map pack with the rest of the Vinos, which have been finished. And HP maps, I think, like, really difficult HP maps get a bit more of a break. It was more because there were a bunch of maps getting suggested. It was just after I, or just before I made my guide on how to test maps offline. Um, where the gay... Uh, there were a bunch of maps being suggested that were unfinishable. Because no one was testing them. Oh shit. Wait, what? Why does it still feel like it's too fast? It is. Slow down. There we go. Sorry about the lack of sounds as well. I uh, will be fixed for next week. Does MPV do playlists? Oh. Well, that's a dreadful map. Okay, we'll probably be... Uh, Play all vids in a directory. Nice. I'll have to piss around with MPV after stream. Oh. I mean, you know, just cleaning up all the Bowser records. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that one. Because I assume that this is Boza, and the previous one was Boza Wep. I assume that they should be roughly the same. And we had the same, um, you know, Boza something else earlier. Oh, you doing Boza Wep and Boza and Banano doing Boza Wep Reverse. That's what we had. Ah, right. So yes, you're supposed to have to go all the way through to get the rocket launcher to come back down, but you don't have to then. <laughs> and the only difference being where the finish line's located. 
Oh, this will be a sick record. This map's super precise. Yeah, the double down ramp. Get as fast as you can to get as far as you can there. As much down ramp as you can on that one. Just skim past that wall. Just skim past that wall. Then adjust yourself for a nice straight into the finish. Absolute mad lad. I think we are unfortunately missing a few records this month, which may be my fault making the playlist, I'll have to check. Uh, could also just be uploads, because some videos were missing I think. So if your record has been missed, I do apologise. If it was a particularly good record, feel free to send me the demo. That's not meant to happen. We'll keep watching and I'll go go find that one on YouTube and see if it's broken on YouTube as well. Th that does look like a pretty evil map. Slightly worse quality, it's slightly weird video angles. Don't know why it corrupted. But there you go. Yeah, it was definitely a good idea to download all the videos. Now I see the the difference and how janky that was to pull up. And the video quality difference just on my end. Yeah, we were mostly watching at 480p. And now I've got 1440p. Other than if one or two corrupt. Which shouldn't happen, but it may. Source posted this morning a uh, some Jedi Knight video, and I never realised that it was all in third person. Oh, this map just so brutal. I always seem to get spacing that pushes me down the cracks between blocks.
Jesus. So I assume you could skip the start since that seemed to go around in a circle. Yeah. I assume you can just skip the start, do a whole lap and start at 4,000. Oh, I was going completely the wrong way on that map. I was going right round at the start. I guess Source gets an absolutely perfect landing up the uh, long ramp because he's a madman. This map's pretty brutal. Oh wow. That's that certainly is a route. That's insane. That slick over there is doesn't exist. Nor does the one at the end. <laughs> Yeah, you have to remember which slicks actually work and which ones don't. This game is is flawless. Flawless game. Now I want ice cream. I mean, I need to do the shopping today anyway, so I, I could just get ice cream. It's usually not the map of being a troll because they do work in Quake 3. It's just when they get converted, Z fighting occurs in Xenotic. On the slick layers, and it's weird. Goofy Goober Wreck? Send me a link when the video comes out so I can put it in. That's just so nice. So, like, so that's, um, this is just one of those ones where Source is making this look easy, but all of these turns are so precise and so difficult to make. And to go up there, like, we're going to come around this next corner, and he's just going to graze straight through there and miss that wall without losing any speed. I'm going probably 300 ups slower than that and smashing into that wall every time. Right, it's really bloody difficult. Yeah, Cool seems to be like an absolute smasher for pre-runs. Just always out for the pre-run. Because we had the square block thingy one. Ah, <laughs> uh, this map. There was some back and forth on this. Uh, maybe even not last month, but the month before. Oh, God. Remind me to play it after, but no. <laughs> I will play it after stream. Because I don't know what it's going to do for copyright sometimes. It's usually alright. It's a man who's a fan of piracy, but...
Bug 83 Slick. Some strange videoing going on here. There are some videos in this uh, set that are from the month before. Yeah, well, we'd, you know, that's kind of a good thing for downloading the videos. At least they're quite clean before we start. But yeah, cool, quick grass ones suck. Okay, I think we're actually into records that have been set this month now. And we have had some missed records because I've got all the videos watched. There was some overlap, I didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> Figuring out what was when was difficult. That's such a technical map. Nice of Riffo to take that one back, though. The song will come after this uh, after I've done the, all this recording. It will be prime song. Prime song time. Okay, some of the records are just in completely the wrong order then. Because this one is from this month. As a resident Just Jump 3 former world record holder, uh, do you think Vert has what it takes to take this record in the future if he, if he goes for... Nice. Because he's got a fair few. Like... He's got two this month, end of last month. Oh yeah. The more records you can get, the more the more people competing that you can get, the better it's going to be. I don't think Riffo will ever go for the whole thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he'll ever go for the whole thing though.
because there'll be some part of it that he doesn't like. And because of that, he won't... Uh, he won't want to do any of it. Wow, he's going to have a good end here to finish this faster. Being that far back at split one and two. Oh yeah, Riffo used to be a major slicker. Yeah. Until S came along and just destroyed everything that he held dear to him. To him. Yeah. Well, he, pre he pretty much only played Slick in Warfork, or Warso, pre-Warfork, and then started weapons once they got updated in Xenotic. That's such a tight corner. I was online for this record being set, actually. I am in this game somewhere. That's my lame claim to fame because I am not got a good time on this map. Super smooth though. Super smooth. And this is the last record for this month officially. Um, I'm going to go for the rest of them anyway. But this is the last record for this month. 45.74. On Cool Haster 01, very, very nice map. Is this the one that me and Des are still having the argument about what's fastest on? Yes. So you come around here and me and Des are still trying to decide. Des thinks that Slick is fastest. Even potentially faster than what's just happened there. Which is already an insane trick and then you have to miss that wall and not fall in any of these holes and get around this last corner. It's absolutely mad. Incredible. Yeah, it's their last official record for uh, July. Now we're technically into August. Oh, glad that Cool Cool Woe has a record set by Woe. You know, it had to happen. So clean. And uh, definitely not an HP map. There's been a lot of uh, HP this month. There are a lot of really like tricky maps and torture maps and stuff like that.
Oh damn, there was a like massive fight on R7 Zeligan, but it was all done in one day. So only one of the records ended up getting uploaded. But that's the problem, back and forth have to happen over multiple days. Like Mr. Headshot Fourth did, where there were three record holders over three different days, about four or four days apart. Beauty. And there we are. That is the end of the month thank you very much for watching thank you to everyone who set records in the same play from everybody thank you very much for watching send me records that you think are important and should be watched at the start of next month uh, for any that you've set in august uh, send me the link or just send me the name of the map and i'll find it any back and forth battles as well send me those thank you very very much for watching like comment subscribe play the game there's a link in the description if you've made it all the way through this video and you don't already play the game there's a link in the description for uh, a tutorial of how to play it and how to start playing the game so check that out check out all the links in the description and stuff thank you very much for watching see you next time